I do not even care about the quality of videos anymore. I just want to put something on this channel. And, um, you know, the past few weeks have really been something strange for me. It's been a period of time where I'm going back to school and just haven't been myself. Like, and but but when I say that, I'm not losing myself so much as just trying to please everybody, trying to be just this person that I'm not constantly changing, even if it's just by a tiny bit. You know, of course we we all change depending on the person, the context, right? You won't talk to your boss the same way that you talk to a good friend. That's normal. But I'm talking more so just uh, the general vibe that I give off. Right, and, and the and the anxiety that I feel is more so a reflection of that. Um, some people I want to, you know, really please more than others, and it's it's toxic, dude. It's toxic because when you're trying to please somebody like that, you deep down you know you're not being yourself. You're being somebody else. And, you know, depending on where you're at mentally, there, there might be a bit of cognitive dissonance while you're doing that, right? And, yeah, it's just not helping you uh, attract the right people. Because then people start to think that you're somebody else or something else. Uh, even just hiding information, right? Because... Well, your ego or whatever, or you don't want to be seen a certain way, right? Like certain actions that you've done in your past. You really just got to own it. You got to own who the fuck you are. Own who the fuck you are. Because at the end of the day, again, there's just one life. You have one life and, you know, you can't change the past. The past ain't going to change, dude. We all know this. The past ain't going to change. It's It's made. So... Why dwell on that and try and hide things, you know? Unless you've done horrible, horrible things. I mean, <laughs> if you're a murderer, obviously, you're not going to fucking want to tell everybody that. But, um, you know, just accepting the person that you are. Simply seeing how people react to it. And yeah, of course, we want to change and improve ourselves over time. But, yeah, um, it's just got to be the person that you are, right? And take chances with this identity, right? The per and then over time, as you take chances, you take risks, you're going to be somebody else. But for me today, I'm going to give a, give a concrete example. It, I went on, I went to the gym with a chick that I hadn't seen for like, well, I, I went to the gym with her last week, went to the gym again with her this week, and I had not seen her for like two years before that. It's somebody that I tried to date in the past, and... You know, my actions were ridiculous. Uh, two years ago, you know, I was really going for a rough time. And instead of, actually it was exactly two years ago, instead of asking her out on Valentine's Day in uh, 2022, I decided to get high on whipped cream. <laughs> and, you know, I was just all over the place. I guess um, I kind of felt a bit of that today in terms of just trying to hide all that stuff trying to hide who I was or maybe thinking more about more more so trying to think more about like creating a difference between oh I'm, I've changed so much you know I've changed so much since then I've got all my shit together I'm trying to like portray myself as somebody that I'm really not uh instead of just being honest right and admitting that right I've got fucking problems dude I got problems I still make mistakes I still take drugs. I still do uh, stupid shit. That's just the reality of it, right? That's just the reality. And, you know, although many parts of me has changed, I do feel much more mature. Uh, at the end of the day, I, I still make these mistakes. <laughs> right? And then, but then admitting that, simply admitting that, it comes with such a big package of emotions of just like dude you know it's it's that really tough feeling of like oh if i do these things then i must be unlovable right nobody can love a person like that nobody can uh yeah nobody can be with this person no you know 
that I'm not worth anything essentially. That's the message that it's kind of cross, kind of cross my mind. Um, yeah, man, it's yeah, it's a very deep rabbit hole you can go down with that. But I guess the point being, just um, yeah, don't don't refrain from being yourself. You know, strive for improvement. But really, the more you start to act differently from people the more you try and please people the less of yourself you're actually going to know you won't know who you are anymore and you know you're going to be torn apart in all sorts of ways mentally it's just yeah now where does this come from of course i can just say that of course there's a reason you're acting this way that i'm acting this way because i want to be liked right because we want we need approval from others instead of seeking our own approval instead of seeking who are we are so i guess just being cognizant of that uh can help but then again it comes down to like practicing like practicing self-love however that might be however that might come truth be told i still don't know how uh, how that works, but or I don't know all of it, but um, yeah, just a quick talk for today. I don't know. Thought I'd uh, kind of let this stuff loose.